multiplying I've been trying to get my weight up Staying prayed up Meditating and taking time away Good morning beautiful people Today is my surgery So today I have a surgery plan To take out my fistula in my arm um, It's been, you know, some time I wasn't going to do it like I told you guys in a previous video but I have decided that you know it's time because it keeps closing so this morning they had me where is my stuff oh here it is they had me just like in my kidney vlog video they had me use this to cleanse my body so like my face my arm my whole body just to make sure I am completely clean so that's what I did this morning I just got out the shower as you can see it's so foggy because I love me some nice hot shower um, I'm in good spirits I feel good um, I'm just going in there with a positive mindset they are going to be putting me all the way out so this procedure is done at the major hospital in my area where my doctor my vascular doctor um, works at as well too so it is like six something in the morning right now. So my husband is gonna be taking me. Love that man. Um, he's gonna be taking me, he's gonna drive me, he's gonna wait for me in the car. Because right now with the coronavirus, no one, and I mean no one, is allowed in that hospital unless you personally have a situation going on. So he's gonna have to sit in a car and wait for me. This is very unusual. If you guys look at all my videos, my husband is at every single appointment, um, surgeries, whatever I have going on. So this is gonna be the first time we're not gonna be doing it. So I'm dressed, I'm ready. I have to be there for 7.30. Um, it is a little bit of a drive, probably an hour with a little bit of a traffic. So I'm gonna head out now and just pray that I come out on the other side in my eyes, I see this as the closing chapter because I've been through so much with this whole kidney failure, going through dialysis, going through the transplant. I mean, I really feel like this is the closing piece. And so I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what my arm is going to look like. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and let's head out to the hospital. Stop before we head to the hospital. I have to see my babies. So here's baby number one. Love you. Here's baby number two. Love you. Look at them. They're sleeping with each other. Oh, I don't want to wake them, but I have to say goodbye. Um, just because you never know. And I promised my oldest one that I was going to wake him up. So I'm going to wake him up right now. Mommy. Hi, baby. You up? Don't fall off the bed because it looks like you're going to fall. Mommy's got to go, okay? I got to go. Bye-bye. I'll see you when I come back. All right. That's the plan. <laughs> So my medication is the only thing that I can take this morning, can't eat, can't drink, can't do anything. That's it, nothing else to eat until after surgery. Hopefully my husband will buy me lunch. Right, boo? This is my, uh, what do you call it? I don't know what that is, this but is it's my smell. Medication. Garlic, ginger, and lemon. And honey. Nasty. <laughs> Turn left onto Hospital Parkway, then you will arrive at your destination. So we just arrived. He's going to walk me up. Right, baby? Yes, I am. He's going to walk me up. He can't go in, but he can walk me up. My mother-in-law just put down an awesome prayer. Um, I have my prayer warriors, you know, people who pray for me constantly, and I'm totally grateful for it. So how do I feel? How do you feel? 
I'm good. I mean, I mean you've been through a lot of surgeries before. Um, I don't. I know, but every surgery is like nerve wracking. It is, um, but I have faith in you. Come out good, so I'm not, you know. True, true. I agree. So he has faith. I have faith. We're gonna be okay. They're doing some construction out here today, but you know. <sighs> my doctor's amazing. I trust him. I just hope he makes it look good. That's my biggest thing. Hope he makes it look good. So they're gonna go ahead and scan me and make sure everything is good to go. So let's go ahead and get scanned before. It's the first thing they do when you go into the hospital. The bed is manual. There's a yellow bar back. So this is my outfit. I got to pee in this cup. That's me. This is my little room for today. All alone, but we're gonna make it. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get dressed. So I'm sitting here, I'm ready. Um, not much, I had to put on my gown. So my fistula is here. So for those of you that don't know, the fistula was created so I can get dialysis. Basically it was a way for them to access my blood. Um, they usually hook me up to a machine so they take the blood out of my body and then return it back in once it's cleaned through the machines. So that's what this is for. So this kind of was my lifeline when I was going through dialysis. It was very important that I kept it clean and I kept it in good standings because without this, I had no other way of getting dialysis unless, you know, they put in another catheter in my chest, which was not safe. So just as a little rundown, we are taking this out the doctor right now the artery and the vein is tied together um, to create this and so now he is going to reverse that he's gonna tie it off he said he's going to possibly shave down the bump if he could I'm going to remind him just in case he forgets um, but I definitely want to have that look as smooth as possible because when people see my arm they're always asking me "Ooh, what happened to your arm what's wrong you know and so now this is going to be tied off we're going to be good I'm excited um, I have a little bit of nerves but again that is natural anytime I personally go under you know I just get nervous because I'm like am I gonna come out of it you know but I've been through so many of these I think everything's gonna be just fine um, I'm gonna FaceTime my husband in a few minutes talk to him for a little bit because to be honest is there a clock in here? I don't think there's a clock but it should be about 7 30 now uh, but the surgery won't start until about 9 so I got a good bit of time so in my little two by two room there is a tv in the corner so i'm probably just gonna lay here check on the phone um and keep busy so i don't have to think about this but i know i'm in good hands i trust the doctors they've done so many of these and this hospital is a good hospital um overall all the campuses um today i'm at a different campus versus the main campus where i always go to and this is because my doctor's aligned with this particular location. And it's like right across the street. So it worked out great. Um, otherwise, I mean, if you guys have had this surgery, let me know. Um, comment, how did it go for you, you know? Did you have any complications after you took out your fistula? But it's not needed anymore. And I pray that I don't have to go back, you know, to dialysis ever again. So I kissed my babies, I said, you know, my wishes to everybody, just in case. You know, my husband hates when I talk like that. But you gotta make sure that they know where everything is. You know, just be cautious. But 
otherwise i'm good i'm just gonna hear what the doctor has to say and i'm gonna come out and i'm gonna tell you guys how i feel i'm gonna show you what my arm looks like so stay tuned take a picture of your Beautiful heart. Yeah, my brother gave me a kidney. He saved my life. Mm, younger, older. Young. I'm going to take your blood pressure again. Okay. Hopefully my heart looks good. <laughs> No, nope. I have lupus. I need to live long. <laughs> no more dialysis. Those days are done. Nope. I even did the corona test and that yes. came back negative. Yes. Do you need a numbing medication? No. no. Feel something cold and just feel it's running. Nothing fantastic there. So the doctor just came in, examined my hand, put some numbers. So he said that once we tie it off, the little lumps at the top should go down. So I can't wait to see what that looks like. So he pushed down on it just to kind of show me as an example. And the bumps were cut, they were pretty much low. So he said because of the blood flow right now is why that it's that big. Um, but we should have that removed. So this is my before. I can't wait to see what the after part looks like. Hey guys, honestly, I'm so drowsy and so tired and in a little bit of pain. Sore, they gave me some animal crackers and some something to drink. I don't know what it is. I'm really, really out of it. All I heard was my name and my phone was here because they know that I gotta show you guys every step. I'm bandaged up. It's just an uncomfortable pain. I'm hoping to wake up out of this anesthesia 100%. I'm still like woozy. But I got common sense enough to take this. <laughs> All right, I need about 10 minutes still asleep and I'll come and give you a final update on how I'm feeling. Tired. 
pain. I mean, I've been in worse pain. But this pain is stopping. They went to go get me some medication. And call my husband for an update on how I'm feeling. I don't even remember falling asleep. That anesthesia hit hard. I'm trying to eat so I can wake up. I'm ready to go home to my babies. I'm just so happy just to be alive. Because you just never know. So, I can't wait to see my husband, my kids. I'm like so drowsy. Oh, my arm hurts. Temporary pain, temporary pain. So I'm alive and I made it. So I'm bandaged up in a lot of pain. They had to give me pain medication. Um, they're actually giving me a prescription to go home with just because it's gonna hurt, she said, for a little bit. So I have to keep my hand elevated. Don't get it wet, because I could get an infection. And I have to follow up my, my doctor really soon. Oh. I can't really judge it right now. I think I need to give it a little bit. I think I need to come out of this anesthesia more. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly what it looks like. Fresh. I'm doing okay. So the good thing is I woke up. That's what matters. So I think I'm gonna keep using that. Yes. I have so many products at home that I tried and stopped using, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna lose all my money. The silver car. I was like, going my hair. All right. I don't do Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome, darling. Take care. pain and I'm drowsy my arm hurts but I have to keep it elevated and don't get it wet because it can get infected don't get it wet for how long I don't know I need to call Dr. Vic's office okay so um what do we need to do as far as we need to go get your payments um you can drop that off at Publix or somewhere but we need to eat because I'm hungry that's really and truly it all right, guys, that's really it. That was my journey for the day. I am officially done. My fistula is reversed. I don't know what it looks like because it's bandaged up. I need to go see my vascular doctor and get a appointment so he can look at it and just make sure everything is going good. So let's go home. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Show me some love. Um, I have been taking you guys through this journey with me from the beginning. Um, and I still have many more videos to go. Because again, like I said in my previous video, I want to be the resource to help you guys. Even though I am struggling today, I still made this video because somebody out there needs to see this. All right, guys. See you next time.